Well, to me, the Les Paul, that's a concept of a, the type of electric guitar. It kind of represents the, the sort of iconic rock and roll guitar. has become the kind of the most legendary, the most mythical. As far as I know, there's only one 1959 Les Paul in Finland. I was greatly honored of having the opportunity to get this guitar to the workshop to evaluate it. It was a great experience, I think, as a guitar maker. It's an excellent guitar, this, this 59 that we had. And as, as a guitar maker and a guitar designer, I really wanted to challenge myself into that, you know, am I able to bring something new to this? It's an interesting thing if you think about it, that it's a, we are comparing a guitar, um, a mahogany body, mahogany neck with maple top to another guitar that is Spanish cedar body, Spanish cedar neck and barked birch top. Personally, I feel that, that it's, it couldn't have gone any better. It's like the concentrated experience of what I've learned during the years as a guitar maker. It's not a competition. It's very clear after you know having this very joyous day of you know listening to these guitars with the, this group of people that all these guitars that we heard there and these great players were demonstrating for us all the guitars they were great to my ears and to many friends felt like the 1959 Les Paul burst and the and my unicorn guitar felt like you know like uh, soulmates and the and the reissue Les Pauls felt like being kind of more modern guitars yeah it's some, some would say that it's arrogant to claim that I'm building a better guitar than that Gibson Les Paul we just wanting to kind of stir it up a bit and kind of you know, shake it a bit and see you know, what is it really about. Now it feels like the circle has closed, you know, with help of good guitarists and you know, gu guitar enthusiasts and friends and eventually the, you know, publishing this, video, this, this comparison video to YouTube and people can tell their comments about it. It's been quite a ride. And I feel honored and I feel humbled and I feel I feel privileged of having great friends of you know to share the enthusiasm with me. You know, wanting to look into it and not being scared of looking into it either. Because that's sometimes quite often you don't you don't want to look into it because you might, you know you don't know what you might find. Mm -hmm.